Scott King, how you doing? Good, good, you? I'm doing good, I'm glad to be here. I wanted to come in and look at some bows. It's getting hot outside. I know archery season's just a little ways off. You got a great selection. You've been doing this for a long time. I have been blessed, yes sir. Been uh, here since 1996. Yeah. And uh, Lord's blessed us and uh, proof's here. Well, you set up my last bow and I've had no troubles with it. Uh, it's time for a new one. You know, technology changes Sounds good, so we like hearing that. <laughs> Technology changes so fast. No doubt. That, uh, you know, every couple years, it, there's something new in the game that uh, is completely different. So, uh, Without a doubt. And, and you got and a great selection, uh, many different manufacturers, so it'll be an opportunity for us to take a look at a bunch of different bows and go from there. Well, let's shoot a few and see what fits in your hand best. That sounds great. Thank you. Good. I'm looking for a bow that has a really smooth draw cycle and ease to shoot. It doesn't have to be 350 feet a second bow. I really don't care about that. I'm really wanting a bow that's easy to shoot and that I can pick it up and just feel comfortable. I want it to fit me. So what, what do you recommend to get started there? We're going to grab a Halon. We're going to grab a, a Hoyt Defiant. We're going to grab a, a, a Bowtech. We're going to grab an Elite and see which one fits in your hand because a lot of times what it really boils down to is kind of what suits the individual. This is the Hoyt Defiant. Let's draw this back and kind of see where we're at. Find that kisser button for me. Excellent. Hands perfect. Got the elbow where we want it. Just reach up there and squeeze that trigger, see how she feels. That was a Hoyt Defiant. That was the Hoyt Defiant. And this is a Elite. This is the Elite, yes sir. Well, this has a very positive backstop. Yeah, yes sir. This bow feels good. I like the other handle a little better. This is the Bowtech. Okay, which Bowtech is this? BTX. BTX. This bow's gonna be a little faster. This bow feels pretty good though. You know, none of these bows am I, am I feeling much vibration. No, no. They've all kind of figured that out. So far, I haven't had a bad one, I will tell you that. They, no. all, they all feel really good. So this is uh, Matthew's Halon. Yes. Just the overall feel of the draw cycle and the way that the bow feels in my hand as far as grabbing the grip. I believe that uh, this is the one that I feel like I like the best. So I really think that the amount of energy you can get out of a 60 pounder, I'm gonna stay in the 60 pound. Really what you're arguing about once you get past really 35 pounds mm -hmm. is really how far you wanna stick the arrow in the mud <laughs> on the other side of the deer because yeah. the, the arrows, the broadheads, uh, how these arrows fly, everything about these propositions have changed. And I see a lot of guys that come in that'll be a little older than me that are shooting a 25 year old bow and they're, you can just see it in their eyes. They're, they're getting ready to have to give up their sport because they just can't pull this bull back anymore. And I walk over here and I say, here, try this. Mm -hmm. And they draw it back and I mean, they light up like a kid at Christmas of, well, I never realized I could shoot 55 pounds and shoot faster than what I'm shooting currently. Well, let's take a look at one of those in a 60 pound and a 28 and a 28 inch draw and okay. uh, see what we got here. Sounds like a plan. All right, so you have one in stock. That, Look at what uh, I got. Yep. Fantastic. Let's take a look at this. There is the stone tactical. All right. Don't. We've already discussed uh, the, the rest. We're going with a fall away rest. A fall away rest is definitely, I think, the, our best way to go, especially on these higher end bows. We get just a little bit more of the performance out of them. So I guess what we need then at this point in time is we need to talk about what type of sight system we're going to Let's use. go over and look at some sights and we'll look at a couple other toys and, and then I'll come back over here and get to work and we'll get you playing with your new toy. Look at all the options. The sights. Um, there are a lot of options. First, you mentioned the fixed pins. That has been our bread and butter for years and years that we set the pins in our backyard 20, 30, and 40 yards. Very few of us actually have killed any deer at precisely 20, 30, or 40 yards. <laughs> we end up with a little bit of Kentucky windage anyway. Um, my eyes have changed dramatically in the last several years when low light starts creeping in. My eyes just don't change as fast as they used to. 
A uh, couple of years ago, I switched to a single pin setup. That allows me to see the same picture every single time. Well, great. Well, you know what? That, this this intrigues me. Uh, I really, to be honest with you, I came in planning on getting a, a three pin sight, but this intrigues me a little bit. Okay. I've never shot this before, but having one thing in the in the sight window that is, I can set it 20 yards and, and usually not move it because I'm going to be shooting 15 to 30 and it might be slightly different, but had that capability to go out and target practice or in a hunting situation, shoot out to 50 yards really intrigues me. So I'm interested in this here. Let me get rolling here and I'll get you shooting, man. Great. Another step in the process, we need to walk over here and look at some arrows. Okay, okay. I can tell you what I have been shooting is they're the Axis carbon and they're the, they've been the 400s. With us shooting whitetails and turkey and the occasional elk here in Kentucky, um, there's no question that, that on your spine, on where you're gonna be arrow-wise, a 400 is virtually perfect. All right, Chad, we have rubbed this bow in, We've got the sight, everything, nothing is, is absolutely locked in stone. What we're gonna do is you're gonna draw this back, come on back, yeah. pretty good or perfect? That's, that's good. Okay, ease it down. Now shut your eyes. All right. Draw it back, anchor. Now open them. There you go. Straight down the hole? Yep. Okay, go. ease it down. We're going to be putting the pin on that smaller orange dot right in front of us in lane three, please. When you come up and find that target, you're there, man. Well, man, we pretty much got a finished product. Uh, we've got you all set up. We've got you really close to uh, the center there. You know, now it's just about me getting some muscle memory and keeping this bow in my hands at the range a bit and, uh, and getting ready. The good news is I got time. I got in here early. It's yep. good for people to get in here early and uh, pick their bow out, get what feels, feels and fits them good. And then you gotta spend time with it. It's gotta be your best friend for a while. That's the biggest thing. And, and we tend, as busy as we are anymore, we tend to pull it out on Saturday, uh, shoot the daylights out of it Saturday and Sunday after ch church, and then we put it back in the case and don't pull it out till next Saturday. <laughs> Anything's better than nothing. But I'd rather, as far as a muscle memory perspective, I'd much rather a guy give me five shots every day for the next two months, uh, that guy's probably gonna have the best season he ever had. Well, I absolutely love the, the draw cycle and the feel of this bow. Uh, and like I said, I I'm excited to get out and shoot it. So I'm gonna try to spend some time with it. You know, even if it's just 20, 30 minutes a day, uh, three or four days a week at least until, uh, until we get to the final week or two beforehand and then I'll we'll be shooting. slide back in here in a couple of weeks and we'll do some fine tuning on it. We'll make sure little tweaks on the site, anything like that, make sure that the peeps come and rotating where we want. All that we'll do follow up with you. Well, hey, I really appreciate your time. Anytime. And uh, your expertise in setting this thing up for me. Go pull your arrow. Right. I think it's where it goes. I think, it, I think it's right there.